Hey folks, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It is uh, Monday, December 24th. The market is just about to open and you can see the ES is down about 1375. But what I want to do in this video, obviously we are in a bearish environment. What I want to do is I've created this new signals uh, for day trading. This is uh, very powerful. This is proprietary. Uh, there's lots of programming involved in this. Uh, there's a mixture of uh, simple moving averages, exponential moving averages, uh, momentum MACD and uh, money flow and all of that stuff. And then of course there is some qualitative uh, analysis as, as well that goes into it. So we want to focus on this particular column. The market is just about to open 19 seconds left and we want to see how these things move. Uh, and what I have on the left side is the graph of the, the chart of the ES. Uh, it's a five day, five minute. And as you can see, this is all pre-market action right now. And the market is just about to open and we are down about 1450. As you can see, most of the stocks are bearish. If there's anything that's bullish, uh, that is gold. And so now the markets are open and you can see how these things uh, can uh, change, um, you know, as per this indicator. So if you, these are very good for day trades in general. And so what you want to do is just, uh, you know, hang on there. Uh, you don't want to take any trade at the open. You know, there's going to be some volatility. Uh, and uh, you can see the S&P is charging up and so the ES is now showing a neutral basis just based on some of these parameters that go into the calculation. Uh, but what we want to do is just hang in there, wait and uh, look at uh, look at how these things change depending on how the markets move. So uh, I, I want to be quiet here and uh, just look at the screens for a couple of minutes and see how it goes. Now you can see some of these things are moving into into bullish first. Uh, and then it'll, it'll go, if it's very bullish uh, based on the parameters uh, of the algorithm, then it'll go into very bullish or very bearish as it may. But looks like the S&P wants to charge higher. And so you can see some of these, all of these stocks are moving into the bullish mode right here, uh, at least for the day. So this is a very uh, day trading system. Uh, you might be in the trade for minutes, uh, maybe an hour or so or a couple of hours, that's about it. But you really don't want to hold these positions overnight. Uh, these signals are valid for day trading. Uh, and it's pretty uh, intense in the sense that if you can take the trade at the right time, uh, you can easily uh, make the day trading numbers work for you in the sense that you can get about seven or eight winners right away. And each on, on, and on the winners, you can easily make more than what you would uh, lose on the losers. So let's just uh, hold it right here and watch this uh, watch this action as the market has just opened. It's just about a minute or 55 seconds into uh, the market open here. And you can see it's, uh, it's starting to move into bullish. That's because the S&P is moving higher from the pre-market. And so now you see there's another, uh, this is gold, of course, uh, which is uh, the, the two other very bullish are the gold, uh, which is acting like a safe haven. But what we want to keep track of is when one of these stocks go into uh, the very bullish and then uh, you know you can probably take a trade once it goes from bullish to very bullish and that's what the signal gives so let's just hold it right here and watch it for a couple of minutes so in general what you want to do is take trades that are in sync with the overall s p so that's why i have the s p chart right here as the s p goes up or up or down you want to be able to identify the stocks that are strongly correlating with it and that's how you take the trade. So we're going to keep it as this. Right now, there is no real trade opportunity as I see it. Uh, the S&P moved up higher, but it, it seems to be struggling. So I'm just going to pause it and uh, we'll wait and see. So based on this action, you can see that Facebook has moved into very bullish. So let's click on Facebook and see. Oh, yes, it's moved really higher. So you can see that uh, this is a great trading opportunity right now. Perhaps you just want to uh, wait for the ideal uh, opportunity to enter. But right at the get go, uh, Facebook has jumped really high. So this signal is, 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 is coming out very strong and Facebook has moved into the bullish. Uh, previously, there were only the gold uh, futures as well as the GLD. But now Facebook is looking very strong today. Uh, and if the S&P continues to, even though it's negative, if the S&P continues to improve, then Facebook will do well. And so this is when we can take a trade on Facebook and you can see it's still punching higher and the S&P is improving as well. So, so this is a good sign. So I'm going to come back to the S&P chart and also just keep one eye on Facebook. And now you can see advanced micro devices also went into uh, very bullish. And so if we look at uh, the advanced micro devices and you can see, boom, there it goes. Uh, at the open, it just went charging higher. So these were two uh, opportunities, obviously, to 
to take a trade. Now, uh, XLE, of course, is the energy. We know oil prices are going down, so you know it, it, it's going to be very bearish. Uh, and that's not a really good sign for the overall markets uh, if oil is just going to go uh, down because that indicates that the economy coming forward, I mean, uh, coming into the future is uh, going to be somewhat weak. So that is a, that is a bearish sign. But you can see the XLE also, it, it, uh, it's looking very bearish. And if you look at the X XLE chart and you can see that now, uh, that is definitely looking bearish uh, uh, on, on a day trading basis. So this is all on a day trading basis. I'm going to go back to the ES and uh, see what happens here. ES just crashed, uh, you know, big time. So what we would want to see is uh, stocks moving more into the very bearish range and perhaps Facebook and uh, advanced micro devices, they, they might uh, also turn around. Let's see. Yeah, Facebook is already turning around a little bit and uh, so is advanced micro devices. So as you can see, there's a strong correlation between stocks and the index. And this is what you would want to see uh, and uh, take the appropriate trade. Now, granted, this five minute bar on both Facebook and AMD might have been too early and also too, uh, too short of a trade. But what you want to look for is trending situations on the S&P and uh, then find the trending stock. And that's when you take the you take the signal. So I'm going to pause it here uh, because we would we would like to see more. Uh, you know, if, if the S&P is going down, we want to see more of the very bearish category because you want to take a put option trade rather than a call option. So if you look at Goldman Sachs, for example, yes, that is looking very bearish. Uh, Tesla is also looking bearish now. Yes, definitely. I think Tesla would be a good candidate. XLE, of course, we know that it's very bearish. So once again, I'm going to pause it here and just look at the S&P uh, and uh, see where things go. So you can see now Citigroup has also moved into the very bearish category. So let's take a look at the Citigroup chart. Yes, it's definitely looking bearish. So that's a potential for a bearish trade. Now the S&P is looking weak because just a couple of minutes ago, it was down about six points. Now it's down about uh, 15 points again. So very volatile markets now. And it's very strange for a December. We generally don't see this kind of volatility. But what you want to do is on a daily basis, take advantage of uh, quick day trades uh, in this environment because you never know what the overnight markets are going to bring. And so holding positions overnight uh, is generally won't be recommended in this kind of a volatile situation. And the other uh, uh, thing that you can look at is the VIX. And if you look at the VIX, uh, the VIX will be, uh, it's already in the 30s. Uh, and so... Uh, if you see the VIX here, it's 31. I mean, that's a very high level of VIX. And so uh, there's obviously lots of concerns uh, in the market. And so you're better off taking put option trades uh, whenever uh, the markets are looking weak. And of course, there will always be snapback rally. So on any given day, you might be taking call trades as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, on this particular day, at least it looks like put options uh, definitely seems to be a better option. Right now, we have two stocks that are in the very bearish category, and that is Goldman Sachs and Tesla. Uh, and e even though Facebook and all are looking bullish, you don't want to go against the grain of the S&P. So as long as the S&P is, uh, is the one that uh, you're going to look at for your trade uh, signals in the, se in the sense that whether you go bullish or bearish, what you want to do then, then this system will give you uh, exactly which stocks are correlating uh, much more to that kind of an environment. And uh, so now you can see they're simply trying to move up a little bit, uh, cut its losses. And so a couple of other stocks are coming into the bullish category here. But what you want to keep in mind is that there were a couple of stocks that were looking pretty bullish. That was Facebook and uh, and uh, AMD. So let's go take a look at Facebook. Yeah, it's trying to uh, once again recover just like the S&P and AMD as well is the same story. So Let's just keep an eye out and uh, see what's happening with the ES for some more time. Okay, so the S&P seems to be getting weaker just a little bit, uh, but you can see there's more very uh, very bearish coming in. Caterpillar has come into the very bearish category as well. The only thing that are looking good are uh, the gold uh, stocks as well as Facebook. And Facebook also should be retreating, I believe. Yeah, it is retreating, but it's still in the very bullish category because it's made such a nice move up. So as far as all the algorithm parameters are concerned, it's still looking bullish. However, uh, I think you, you, it's, it's clear that uh, it's, uh, it's going to, it's, it's weakening. And so it might come out of the very bullish category into the bullish. But obviously today you're not looking for bull, bullish trades because the S&P is weak. You, you can see that it is uh, down 22 points now, uh, 23 points. And so you want to take put option trades and so now there's quite a few candidates here. We have Goldman, we have Citigroup, Tesla and Caterpillar 
all four are very bearish. And so this is the kind of trade that you would want to take today. Uh, and we could have taken a trade on either Goldman or Tesla before itself. And you can see that it's, it's been going down since then. If you looked at Tesla, we, we could have gotten a put option trade right there and uh, taken it down. Similarly with Goldman Sachs, if you look at the first couple of bars, uh, they are right here. And uh, right now Goldman is at uh, 156. So it's down about $4 but we could have caught it much earlier. So this is how these signals are working. I'm going to be making these videos. If you're interested in these signals, please send me an email at info at option tiger.com. Again, this, uh, these are very powerful day trading signals available. Uh, these trades can produce some very quick and very rewarding profits. And there is a lot of parameters that have gone into the algorithm for this. Uh, like, as I said, there's moving averages. There's three different. There is a couple of simple. There's a couple of uh, exponential moving averages. There's also the momentum MACD calculations that are going in. There's the money flow. And of course, it looks at volume as well. And then there's a couple of qualitative parameters as well. So all of that will be uh, available as part of the signaling uh, uh, signaling system. Uh, if anybody's interested, please uh, send me an email at info at optiontiger.com. Thank you.